morning, YouTube. That's too bright. Good morning, YouTube, and today we will be reviewing Transformers Warp Cybertron Siege Starscream. So let's go ahead and look at the box. Bigger box than usual. Also, if you want to open a box without completely destroying it, use the box cutter 9000. Hold on. The box opener 9000. Use to slice stuff open. You can just go to like a piece of tape and find a piece of tape and then be all like, I'm gonna cut you. Then cut it. But as I'm not sure what's up with that piece of bot, you will not do that. But anyway, symbol back. His symbol in the background. Transformers, Generations, Takara, Tomi, Hasbro, AG, blah, blah, blah. Transformers, Siege, War for Subtron Trilogy, Starscream, on the top of the box, Decepticon symbol. Transformers, War for Subtron Trilogy, on the side of the box. That nice artwork. It's authentic. Nice artwork of the War for Subtron Siege stuff. Nice artwork of Starscream. Uh, Voyager class, class A Voyager, class A Voyager, and class U Voyager. On the bottom of the box, word stuff and things and barcodes and authentic transformers. And on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. Is this that and the 22 steps? Uh, blah, 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 blue! And so here it is. Here he is. Here he is. He's a plane that goes whoosh. It goes whoosh and all that whooshing action. And for that detail, he has a lot of battle damage. He did not keep clean during the war. And hold on, this is really high up. Lots of battle damage, a cockpit, vents, lots of that good battle damage. Here, paint scuffing. Um, on the bottom, you know, folded up transformer, <laughs> thrusters on the back, uh, faux chest, faux chest, faux cockpit, and that is basically it for him. And, yeah, and also included in the box, ignore that that happened. And also included, you get these two of these, and these can peg on here, here, and there, and then yes, so just play, peg it in. Grab the other one, peg it in, then you can go whoosh. 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 And for comparison, here he is next to my only other War for Cybertron figure. You know his name, Cog. Uh, he is falling apart. As Cog be doing. Ah! My focus does not like focusing. Is with Studio Series Sideswipe because he has to be in these. He was being a little fiddly earlier. And here he is with his War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron counterpart. And you know, they, they actually look kind of similar. Ah, uh, look at this. Minus an arm and a wing. But yeah, that. Actually, look pretty similar. Anyway, on to transformation, shall we? Let's first thing you want to do is take these off and raise the camera to give us a bit of work room. And so then you want to, uh, what do we want to do first? 
I believe, just lift up the wing. Or no, lift this up first. Pull down and out on the wings. And bring them up to give you wiggle waggle room. Now this cockpit is annoying. Because there's nothing actually holding us together. It's just a friction peg without much friction. Oh dear lord. So then you're kind of just screwed from there on out with that while you're transforming this as it is not pegged in. And you just want to bring these back. Bring the arms back. Uh, unpeg the legs and then fold pull the feet out. Bring the feet out. So now he's like this. Raise the camera once again. And I have some detail in here. Got Decepticon symbol, red paint. Anyway, then you want to pull this down. Same with the other arm. Pull it down. Bring it out. Unfold this. Snap it. Out. Fold. Snap it. Bring it back. Uh, come here and turn the waist. Come here to the chest and tab that in. Alright, now for the hard part. The back. <laughs> Kinda, sorta. Ah, you, what you want to do is... One. Leave that for a minute. <laughs> As I do not care for that at the moment. Uh, bring up the head. Untap. Untap that. With the greatest of ease. Bring it... Bring it in there, like that. Have him fall over, cause why not? I need to like. It. I'm gonna need to get like a curtain I can put there. Anyway, now that we have him all like that, undo that, bring it back, and now to work on this. Just untap it. One second. And after you've done that with the greatest of ease. Jesus, that was hard. That was way harder than it should have been. Uh, you can now finish up by bringing these up. And then just folding the backpack in. And then you can see there's a slot and a tab right there on both sides. And then you just want to kind of fit those together. And there you go. There you have War for Cybertron Siege Star Scream. And you can angle these however you want there. They go, do that, and they do this. And a nicely done figure. These were hard. <laughs> I did not like these. Those, or whatever the heck they were. Wait, that, hold on. I wonder what that's focusing on. Well, let's uh, take a look at that head sculpt. There it is. There, there it is. There it is. And, uh, it's got light piping. This is, it's been a while since I've seen light piping. Um, yeah, and nice, nice detail. He, he's, he's a rugged warrior here. <laughs> Feet, legs are all scuffed up. Arms, wings. He did not stay clean. Anyway, for articulation, his head can do a full 360 up. Up, if you just use that transformation. And down a little bit. Wiggle waggly. It's on a ball joint. You do whatever you want with it. Arms can do a full 360 if you just move it out. If you move the wings, then you can do it. Uh, move. Moves out that from far up. Uh, tight wiggle waggle. You can do that. Uh, double jointed arm, so elbow. I mean, so nice range of movement there, full range, and wiggly waggly wrist, wrist, which is pretty hard on mine. 
waist joint. Legs can move forward that far. Backwards that far. Knees can, you got full range, and toe can move, heel can move. Dang it, the focusing of my camera. It must be something I can, like, use to stop that thing. I feel like a box wall. Hold on. Alright, welcome back. I just kind of screwed up and turned that off. But yeah, hey, we have a background. Nice solid blue background. And the feet can move in and out. Move up and you got heel movement. So a nice range of posability. Now on in there you can see there's a hole. Like they were gonna put a pin in there. And if since they didn't, it kinda sucks. But anyway. And you still have these and he can hold them like a gun. Or the way you're supposed to do it, and it comes in boxed. There is no raise. And for comparison, here he is. I say uh, for for comparison, here he is with with uh, cog. Here he is with Studio Series Hide Swipe. And here he is with his follow Cybertron. War for Cybertron counterpart. It's ice cream. And of course, you can arm him up with Cog, and I just hold on. And that looks pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to add those in. Hey, we can even add these in. Hold on. <laughs> and there you go. He is gonna kill some peeps. Impasta! No, you're the impasta. No, you are. <laughs> and honestly, I, there might be days where I display him like this, because this is awesome. Oh, also, on the back, uh, I just realized this goes down even further and tabs in back there. And you can tap, and you can plug stuff in these thrusters, so you, if you don't want the guns on his shoulders, you can plug them in back there, I'd assume. And he's falling apart. So let's get to the end. <laughs> and that was Worf for Cybertron Sea Starscream. And uh, this is a figure I quite like. Um, it, it's a little fiddly on the transformation, must admit. Like the splitting these, but it, besides that, it's a pretty good figure. Um, I picked mine up for my w local Walmart. Uh, these Wave Two figures are coming in at Walmart. I have not been able to find Soundwave yet, but once I do, I will pick him up. As long as I have money, and I'll probably be here for my birthday. At, at, at ma maximum, it'll be here on my birthday, um, because I'll ask for him. Anyway, uh, that has been him. For all anything else, Transformers, go to Big Mac, Toy Store, Wal Walmart, eBay, anywhere. Heck, for God's sakes, you can download the games on computers. So it does. Any further questions? No? Alright, goodbye. I wonder why Megatron hasn't asked me to join the war efforts. You there! We need your help! Come on! You're a filthy Autobot! I'm not helping you! I'm killing you! But, 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 you're an Autobot! Why on earth would I be an Autobot? On my wing, there's a Decepticon symbol. Whoa, well, you're red, white, silver, and blue. See, these are cover colors I even sport. Most Autobots do. <laughs> Optimus does. Jazz sorta of does. Uh, and wait, you're Starscream, aren't you? Yes, and who just knocked into the camera? Come on, this is very unprofessional. There's oh, jeez. Why, why, why did we, this war have to start again? 
You used to be a peace negotiator. You own the Decepticons. You owned them. <laughs> Shut up before I shoot you. And get out of here before I change my mind. Uh, Optimus! 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 This is bad comedy.